Damp is my dog out, cold are my feet. Waiting for his spangs to send me to sleep. crazy. And I thought it would be a big waste of money and we'd get more important things like food and supplies to be ready for the war. But still, this photo has helped me through the war for this past few months. And it's always kept me going constantly. But even though this brings good memories, there's still the one thing that stays in my head. Just how long it took to get that photo done. I remember how long it took. It took forever. It was a really long ride. Well, you look very smart today. Get the best clothes on everything. This photo shouldn't take too long. Look, why should we pay this camera? Our lousy uh, piece of paper, but we can get more copies of food and supplies. This lousy piece of paper is for us to remember by. Besides, you have nothing else for us, anyways. No, that sounds so serious. Why do you? She's worried about you going to be in a fight. You're going to be gone for a couple of weeks, that isn't very long. Look, you're going to be gone for weeks, and we have nothing to remember you by. Besides, it's your birthday too, so just take it. Mum, you'll just let this happen. Look, I don't want this thing done. It's not worth it. What's all this commotion? I've been winning all money and I want to get paid. Ah, I guess I'm going to try. Well, you may just take a seat, my daughter will pour you some tea. And a treat. This could be awful. Excuse me? Nothing. Nothing at all. Look, stand still. It will be awful. despite it being quite the problem to get done.
Whoa, look at those shoes. They look like that. That's me. It looks weird, isn't it? Oh, no, let's have a couple look. Oh, yeah. Oh, you can't see them that great. Because they are. You don't have to pay me for another one, Kalan. Oh, well, you've got to buy it now, please. Please. Okay, just don't tell us if it's... What's the dream? I really want to buy a ring with the construction and everything. Sure you guys will affect us? I suppose. Unlikely. Unlikely. Never going to happen. Besides, you can always buy a ring after the whole Vultures, and their eyes could 
fall stairs into the soul of the very living. When will this nightmare end? This war reminds me of when we were happy. No fear of God or war. No fear of there even being a war. It's like death is holding your hand, leading us to his party. But I'm not going to take that invitation, because I have something worth fighting for. A country, a business, and most of all, a family. Mind everybody, mind everybody else's chances of survival are very low, but there is that little chance that I will survive and go home. This vote was taken on my 12th birthday on a sunny day. Me, Mum, Dad and my little brother Tom. It was a great day, probably the best of my life. Those were the times. <coughs> I was, but we both are found in Australia. Not any old comfort so I, it's my protector. An enemy want to be dead, you see. <coughs> me old compass blocked in the farrier's bullet. Found stuff easy to hit him amid the silence. Obviously, the law didn't want this dead. Eventually, though, I died of old age, passing the compass on to my son. Yeah, it did keep a lot of my family safe. But when the compass finally reached my possession, it only kept me safe until I bought the Titanic on April 10th, 1912. Look, you must go. Never. I love you. I can't let you go. Here, take this compass. Wherever you are, sad or lonely, hold it close and remember me. I will. Now go. Be brave. That was the worst and the last day of my life. I had to watch my wife walk away from me, knowing that I'd never see her again. When she died, she passed it down to our only son. I loved horse racing until one day on the 8th of June 1913. I stupidly told a woman to where the horses would be running. And she ran out and put the horse I was betting on. She lost her life and I lost all my money. She ran out, the horse came along, and bam, they all fell. So I passed the compass down to my son. really happened to me. The year was still 1913. Shortly after I got the compass, I got influenza and I died leaving my two sons and my wife behind. The compass was passed on to my eldest son. I don't know why it was given to me. My father knew how much I hated it. So when I got it on the 10th of December 1930, I immediately put it in the basement. I thought that if I did that, nothing would happen and I could just forget about it. Well, I was wrong. The next day I went out for my usual walk try and forget about my father's death. But I ended up getting lost and never finding my way home again. I found the compass on the 20th of February 1914. Like my father, I didn't want it, so I was going to sell it at the market. But my son wanted it, so I gave it to him. I didn't bring the compass with me on the war on the 12th of August 1914. As I knew how valuable and precious it was to the family, I thought that if I died, my wife would give it to my only son. Sadly, I was correct, and I did not survive the war. While in the trenches, there was a gas attack, and I gave my gas mask to an injured boy who was about the same age as my son. He didn't have to die. The year is now 1916, and I believe that this compass will keep me safe as I headed the same battle as my father died in. It's handy there to come as, as like, I have no idea which way I'm heading. Follow me, guys. Right, everyone. Okay. So, uh, stop it. Right. Now. This golden compass is one of the many items that was retrieved in the World War I trenches in France. Now, this compass is very special because not only does it still work, but it was made almost 100 years ago 
about the time of the gold rush in Australia. Sure, this, this compass has been through many, many stories. Come on then.